Do you have any plans to, I don't know, one day depart this planet for a better place? Maybe like the moon, like so many other people have considered doing? Have your aspirations ever come true just to have them crushed by the uninhabitable climate that the moon lives in? What if I told you that, thanks to this incredible discovery, your dreams now have a very strong probability of coming true? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please uh, subscribe and turn on the notification bells to receive all these early updates. Now, let's get right into the video without any further ado. Well, over the years, scientists have worked extremely hard to discover any other planet, or even a moon that can be habitable in addition to Earth. But despite numerous efforts, all of their hard work has been in vain. But not this time, as scientists have finally discovered something positive about the moon being able to support human habitats. So what is it? Keep on watching and you will find out. Since Neil Armstrong first set foot on the moon, people have been considering moving to the moon. Even though our beautiful Mother Earth provides nearly everything that we need to survive, like water, sunlight, clean air, stunning scenery, and most importantly, um, oxygen, humans still find it difficult to rest in this situation and instead enjoy looking for alternative habitats on other planets and even their moons. However, is that really feasible? Despite the fact that this is a significant question, daily attempts are made to ensure that we'll eventually receive a response. Elon Musk, the richest man on the globe, has been looking for ways to start a colony on Mars. On the other hand, numerous other famous institutions have been analyzing, seeking, and even closely examining every single action to make sure that they do find some inhabitants on the moon. Even though numerous studies, reports, and news articles have been published to date suggesting that we may be on the right track in our search for life on the moon and many other distant planets, these claims have occasionally been refuted. However, this time there is some compelling evidence suggesting that life might be possible on the moon. And everyone is, of course, excited about this. A press release from UCLA, the University of California, Los Angeles, claims that there are parts of the moon where the weather is a little bit more stable and pleasant, which might be just enough to sustain life in that lovely location. The statement was made by a team of planetary scientists at UCLA who claim to have found cool areas within lunar pits that are consistently around 63 degrees Fahrenheit. So basically, you no longer need to worry about being warm or cool to live peacefully on the moon. A day or night on the moon is about equivalent to a little more than two weeks on Earth, which makes long-term exploration and settlement challenging due to the intense heat and cold. However, in comparison to the rest of the moon's surface, which can get up to 260 degrees hot during the day and 280 degrees below zero at night, the pits and any caverns that might lead to would create a safer, more dynamically stable base campsite for space exploration and long-term living. In addition to all this, what's really surprised a lot of people is that these pits weren't just recently discovered. They were actually discovered more than 10 years ago. The media claims that these pits, or caves, were first found in 2009, but it took scientists more than 10 years to learn more about what exactly these are and how the circumstances are within them. Since pits were formed on the moon in 2009, scientists have questioned whether they lead to caves that might serve as shelters. About 16 of the more than 200 holes, according to Tyler Horvath, a UCLA doctoral student in planetary science who oversaw the research, are likely collapsed lava tubes. Horvath analyzed photos from the Diviner Lunar Radiometer Experiment, a thermal camera that is one of six pieces of equipment on NASA's robotic lunar reconnaissance orbiter, to determine whether the temperature inside the pits varied from that on the surface. The temperature in the permanently darkened parts of the pit fluctuates just slightly throughout the lunar day, staying at about 63 degrees, according to research that was recently published in the journal Geophysical Research Letters. Additionally, a cave that protrudes from the putt's bottom seems to have a suitable temperature. Even the temperature characteristics of the rock and lunar dust in the trench were studied by the scientists using modeling. In a UCLA press release, Page stated that humans evolved while living in caves, and to caves we may return when we dwell on the moon. Even though moving permanently to the moon might still be a talk for the future, we can't help but appreciate this enormous step. UCLA has provided additional details regarding the designs of these pits. There is significant evidence that one pit's overhang might just lead to a sizable cave. And two of the most noticeable pits have overhangs that are plainly visible and lead to some kind of vacuum or hole. According to the press release, lava tubes are also seen on Earth and are created when molten lava flows beneath the field or 
cooling lava, or when a crust forms over a lava river, leaving a long, hollow tunnel in its wake. The collapse of a solidified lava tube ceiling can create a pit that can access the remaining portions of the enormous tube. Despite all of this, growing food and producing enough oxygen are just two of the many difficulties in establishing any kind of permanent human settlement on the moon. NASA has no immediate plans to build a base camp or habitations there, and researchers have made that clear. But UCLA scientists appear to have addressed this issue as well. According to them, scientists can concentrate on other problems by erecting bases in the dark areas of the pits, where they can grow food, supply oxygen to astronauts, gather materials for experiments, and expand the base. The pits or caves would also provide some shelter from solar radiation, micrometeorites, and cosmic rays which in itself is just amazing. Well, this was about a recent UCLA study that seemed to support previous research that had found evidence of life on the moon. Researchers from the University of Rochester in New York conducted the study, which concluded that rocky planets with a diameter greater than 1.6 times that of Earth and icy planets with a diameter greater than 1.3 times of Earth are unlikely to be able to form moons that would have those life-enabling effects on them. In addition, astronomers have long held that the fact that Earth's moon is huge relative to the planet's size has contributed to the planet's habitability. And a recent study discovered that the size of our planet was just right to create such a sizable, life-supporting moon. Another study conducted by academics at Washington State University in the United States indicates that life was feasible on the moon twice in the past. The study is based on findings from a recent space mission as well as sensitive studies of lunar rocks and soil samples which suggests that the moon is not as dry as we previously thought. According to them, life on the moon could have evolved similarly to life on Earth, but the more plausible scenario is that it was carried in by a meteorite, containing primitive creatures like cyanobacteria that were blasted off the Earth's surface and then landed on the moon. Scientists even claim that the moon was ejecting a significant amount of superheated volatile gas, including water vapor, from its interior at the time that they were conducting their investigation. According to astrobiologist Dirk Schulz Makuch of Washington State University, if liquid water and a substantial atmosphere were available on the early moon for lengthy periods of time, the surface would have been at least briefly livable. A significant advancement in science is proving that there is even a remote possibility of establishing long-term human habitation on the moon. Well, with the ongoing efforts being made every day, things have been looking pretty promising. All of these indications suggest that life on the moon might be feasible and is most certainly getting closer. We're positive that you too can't wait for more explanation. So let's hope for even greater news in the future, and maybe even a move to the moon someday. We genuinely hope that you had a good time watching this video, so please like it up and consider subscribing. You can also share this video with your friends, obviously, as it helps our channel improve and spread and all that good stuff. And until then, have a great day, and be careful.